morning, how's it going? So here it is. I have re-dyed my hair. If you've been following me these last two videos, you will know that I dyed my hair with two boxes of these and still found a big band of my hair that had not been fully covered with dye, which looks like it might be more of my fault than it was the uh, dye's fault. So this morning I went to the gym, came home, got the kids ready and off for school, and then I started dyeing my hair. I just used one box this time, and uh, I do have to say that when I used the plastic fork, the dye broke up much easier than it does when you just try to use that brush. Remember, remember to not use anything metal when you are dyeing your hair with this, because as it even states, it says, do everything in a non-metallic shaker or bowl. So then I applied it to the middle section of my hair and then all the way down to the ends. And then I tried my best to really saturate my hair and to um, make sure that no strand was left behind. So I left the dye in for about 35 minutes and I kept checking and I, I felt like it wasn't getting as to be as bright as it should have you know I look at my hair now and and it looks much much better but I still think like another five minutes would have been good but I just I get worried after a while after leaving my hair w with dye on it especially this one when it's a lift and color th that makes me paranoid what are, what's going on with my hair what am I actually doing to my hair so I left it in for 35 minutes and I just rinsed it out and then I did a conditioning wash. I didn't use any shampoo or anything like that, so I'm not going to count this as a second wash. I will be washing my hair again Friday evening, so I should have a video up Saturday and I'll count that still as my second wash because I will be using the shampoo and conditioner. But this is how it looks. There are still, like, it's still a little, like a little bit duller here. You guys, I'm going to be honest though, if this doesn't last any longer than the other dyes, I don't think I'm going to dye my hair with it anymore because of just all the hassle that it is to work with and then to have to re-dye. It kind of stinks. And to buy these at Sally's, if you don't have a Sally's card, that's $7. If you have a Sally's card, it's like $6. I had to buy three of these. Not only that, I had to buy another thing at Developer, which Developer was only like two or three bucks. But if you don't already have like a bowl to mix it in or gloves or or like it just adds up after a while, which is absolutely fine if you can afford it. I was watching a gal on YouTube and she had black hair and so she was dyeing her hair and her um, black hair extensions and she was saying something like she had to use seven or eight boxes of dye and that gets costly after a while. One reason why I like to keep things cheap, you know, just to like dive into a little bit of like the reason why I do things so cheap is because of how I was raised. And I won't go into details about that. But I was also raised in a community that was very much pro saving your money and pro being thrifty and um, very much uh, where activities where if we could spend the least amount of money possible, let's do it. Like let's get creative and let's brainstorm and let's see how we can spend the least amount of money so that everyone can be involved. So my issue with this is that while it's probably a nice color, um, I don't like that some of us have to go back over it um, to, to get the color. So we have to buy more dye to get, to get the color. Granted, maybe I would have had this color had I used the 30 developer. That could be my fault. It could also be my fault in the sense that I have dyed my hair over and over and over again for the past many, many, many years. But I have found other dyes that have been just as vibrant, like, uh, Vidal Sassoon's Runway Red. That color is super vibrant. Granted, it's more of a pinky red, while this is more of an orange red, but that was an incredible color that lasted quite a while for a boxed dye. I like to try to keep things as cheap as possible. And eventually, and I'm looking at this going, do I really want to fork over $21 and not even know if it's going to actually do what I want it to do because it's so thick. I pretty much had to apply it with my hands because trying to apply it with the brush was an absolute joke. I am, maybe I'm old school and maybe it's because I have always dyed my hair with the squeezing bottles, 
but if only that was thin enough so I could apply it with the squeezing bottles, I don't think it would make as much of a mess because I made a mess ah. trying to oh. apply all this in my hair because you got these big old raggedy gloves on and you're just throwing what dye all over the place and you're hoping it gets in your hands and a good measure of it ends up getting on the floor and on your sink and all that stuff. So I really love this color. I absolutely love it. It is a gorgeous color, but whether or not I will use it again will be found in the next few weeks as to how it pans out. So here's how it looks. It definitely looks more red. It was much more brown in this area yesterday. Um, my hair is still a little wet, which I'm sure you guys don't mind, but and also when when I don't do like a shampoo wash, when I do a conditioned wash, my hair feels always kind of um just not not the same. So yeah, that is it. We'll pick back up with the second wash come Saturday. So be on the lookout for that video. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip. Bye, guys.